here with head trap coach Andy Jerswald. Uh, first competition week for the Minnesota Crookston trap team. How are you feeling about it so far? So far, I'm very confident. I like what I've seen so far in practice the last two weeks. Uh, we shot our first competition rounds last night on Tuesday, uh, second night tonight on Wednesday. And uh, we've seen a lot of promise out of some new shooters that we have. We have a lot of returners that performed well for us last year, so we really really have a solid roster of competitive shooters and I think it's gonna at least get us to that second place finish we had last year if not hopefully first. What were your big goals coming off of last year? Obviously a pretty strong debut finishing second in your conference. Uh, what were the key takeaways from last year that you wanted to improve on and things that you wanted to see again going into this year? Well obviously you know when you hit the ground running like that it's hard to take a step backwards afterwards so mainly it's just the uh, the consistency and that's kind of where we're at as a team is we have a lot of shooters that can hit high scores they're above 20 out of 25 targets every night it's just making sure that they stay consistent at that level it's very mental game so it's very important that me and the guys helping us provide an atmosphere where everybody feels comfortable with what they're doing and can focus on what they're doing uh, like I said uh, a big key to this year is that we have those returners that are putting up good scores for us and the addition of some new ones that are, are going to keep that competitive edge for us. I think we'll be able to hopefully repeat what we did last year. How excited are you to have some of these newcomers in that you, it sounds like have elevated everyone around them, you know, <laughs> including the return. The returners have helped them, obviously, too, but it's elevated the team as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, the three shooters that we added were all female, and they're all definitely probably going to be I would think in the top five on our team. Um, very, very competitive. We have two transfers and one freshman. Um, they all come from uh, a high school trap. Uh, the two transfers both shot at their uh, community colleges. So, I mean, it's it's exciting to have them around. They're good characters, just like everybody else. So they fit right in with our team. They've already been meshing with everybody and, and uh, you know, building the camaraderie. So it's, it's definitely exciting to be able to add some new shooters I think right now there's nine female shooters. I know traditionally it's kind of viewed as more of a male sport. Just how, how awesome is it to be able to have nine female shooters that are, it sounds like very strong. A couple returnees that are back are some of your strongest shooters and then these three newcomers as well. Thanks, Andy. Yep.